Today we're going to look at the project that I completed for Junk Gypsy of their little hippie VW bug. Stay tuned. project today um, I got a call from Junk Gypsy, Amy at Junk Gypsy uh, down in Round Top. They used to have a show on HGTV called Junk Gypsy and she asked me if I could come up with something. They just picked up this old uh, pink Volkswagen uh, out in a field and uh, they took it over to Justin Prazel, Appraisal's Addiction in Rockdale, Texas and had him uh, put it together and get it uh, painted up and new wheels, that kind of thing. And um, the idea that I pitched was I, I, I've always loved the, um, the old trucks in Nepal and in India, the delivery trucks. I love the paint schemes on those. They're really wild and fun. And I uh, also really have always liked the uh, John Lennon Rolls Royce. If you've never seen that, look that up. Um, and it's also very Indian truck inspired paint work that was done I think back in the late 60s early 70s on his Rolls Royce and so um, they kind of unleashed me and that's what I did and I kind of blended it a mixture between uh, the old India trucks and uh, it was still very it had a very Texas vibe too so uh, you'll be able to see some cool footage and um, you'll also be able to see a short that was uh, filmed by Explordinary uh, for the project and you'll be able to take a look at um, their beautiful cinematic uh, version of, of the project. Yes. Oh, the mercy brakes on. Is it really? No. Alright, push, 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 push. The only thing that I can see, so I'm replacing all the blinkers, the lenses. Worst case scenario, if you paint up to the gasket, uh, no problem. I'll take a razor blade and trim it and then pull it off. Okay. But I'm pretty sure these come with new gaskets. Okay. So if you do paint up, don't worry about it. I'll just trim it so it don't pull the paint. Okay. I got new headlight rings, same thing. That's all I'm doing is just the, the lights, the tires. If, you're, if you've got new rings, I might like pop this stuff off.
Hey Sean, I was wondering what you call it, so when you're drawing, how you can prop your hand on the paper, but I've noticed when you're on the glass or whatever, you're doing that, and you don't want to smear the ink or gold leaf or whatever, what that technique is that you use. Thanks for the question, Joey. Um, so what you're looking at in this clip uh, is, is what he's asking about, which is what's called a mall stick. And the mall stick um, from if I recall correctly, was uh, first introduced by the Renaissance painters that were painting huge uh, oil paintings and to keep their hands off of the artwork, um, which was typically oil paint, um, they developed these uh, mall sticks to, to do that. And then somewhere, um, I believe it was in the 1800s, uh, sign painters um, saw them and thought they were ingenious ideas to be able to keep your hands not only off the surface that you're painting but also to steady your hand um, there's other things that you can do with it you can you know flip it one way or another and, and use it almost like a straight edge to pull a straight line uh, they're, they're really really handy and um, uh, definitely a must for doing detailed work especially in glass Adios.